Hello and welcome back. So in this video, we are going to start with lab 33. In the previous video, we were looked at the Windows uh, Event Viewer logs. In this video, we are going to be looking at how to check out Linux event logs. I have already spun up the Kali. If you want to follow along on your machine, here are the instructions. And rest of them here. All right, so let's get started. It's all in terminal, so we can click on this and fire up the terminal. Basically, it's list what is at var log check the file now we're gonna cat the cat command is basically short form of concat and we're gonna check out the syslog so sudo cat war slash log slash syslog now syslog should be right here and there is actually another one dot one and this is we it quickly goes away uh, that uh, all the information if you want you can use the switches for uh, to get uh, only as much information as the screen fills then you have to uh, press a key to get to the next page and all onwards now the third one is that uh, if you can see the third command C it's lost 10 lines so if you were to type I believe the first line is top or head let's try sudo top war log syslog and nope that is not the right command sudo head yep so you can see it's shown you 10 lines for the head and it so these some of these line are double because so one two three four five six seven let's count just the dates one two three four five six seven eight nine and ten now same thing if you go with tail it will get so basically this one syslog is a big file we just saw the first 10 lines now we're gonna check out the just the last 10 lines there is a I, I I can't remember the switch that you can put in and it will go page by page uh, the third right here execute the following command and this new line syslog contain cron so what we are doing is sudo if you don't know cron cron is in Linux, that is basically a repetition of something. Uh, in Windows, you can see like task scheduler. You put a task and you want it to be scheduled to run on whatever interval. Same concept with cron. So sudo grep and grep basically tells that hey, go get this. What we're looking for is capital because Linux is case sensitive where the path is where log syslog so at this path this file go check if it can any any line contains chrome and it's gonna give you all the line that has chrome in it and you can see right here all right so let's move on to four Tail to follow log. The F option allows you to monitor log file in real time. Uh, so F probably is what gonna do is it will. Uh, if you open a file, it's just give you the content of the time that you open it. With F, I believe it's gonna. Uh, it will go. Each time there is written to that file, it will update here in uh, real time as well. So, oh, second window. Okay. Nope. 
second window needs to be from here so click on terminal and if not then second window is new terminal we're gonna go with tail switch F switch in we're gonna limit ourselves to 5 for now and this file oh auth dot log and we get our five links right so n switch is basically the number of lines we want <clears throat> so what it's saying is to execute this look over here and see what happens I believe when we do it it writes and then it updates here <clears throat> sudo head 50 lines auth dot log and pipe is basically you tell it to uh, filter you can see right there these two couple of lines got added <clears throat> By ping, piping the output of head, you will view lines 41 to 50 of authentication log. Send it to a file. So if you can send it a file and then, you know, with the greater sign sign, you can append it into a file. So it's saying that our last command showed up here. It's obviously it omitted the sudo, but this is our last. So basically, it's telling this user with this privileges has this password. This is the username. Ran this command. So that's how uh, everything is logged. And through this command, you can search for it and see what really goes on. Windows is all obviously a lot more graphical user interface this you have to be good with terminal all right so I, I really enjoyed this video by the way uh, you certify uh, obviously did not do a good job but yeah this one is this one was by far the best so far all right so I hope this video has helped you if it has please rate comment subscribe and share and I see you in the next one